Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss how to upgrade clients to index in version 2 in Com Vault. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. If the Com Cell is deployed with version 11 since the beginning, then all clients use indexing version 2 by default. If the Com Cell is upgraded from version 10 to version 11, then all new clients installed with version 11 use indexing version 2, but for any client on version 10, upgrading the agent's software from version 10 to version 11, will not let the client to use indexing version 2. You need to run the workflow to get the client, use indexing version 2. There are few points to note before you plan to run the upgrade workflow. Please review them carefully before proceeding. Before you begin, Download the upgrade to indexing v2 workflow from the Commvault store. Open internet browser and browse to store.commvault.com. In the search box type, upgrade to index in V2, and hit search button. Click on the download button for the workflow. At the login screen type the user credentials. Please note, the user ID should be associated with a com cell ID, if not, it will throw error. After successful login, save the workflow on the server. I have already downloaded it, but will just overwrite it. The Commvault workflow solution must be deployed in your Comcell environment. Log on to Comcell GUI. In the Comcell browser, click on Workflows. These are the available workflows in the Comcell, some are deployed, and some are not. In the list we do not see upgrading to indexing v2 workflow. Right click on the workflows, all tasks, select import definitions. Browse to the location where you saved the workflow, and open it. You will see the workflow name in the bulk import window. Click Import. Import of the workflow in progress. This would not take long. Import completed successfully. We now see the workflow listed, but deployment status shows as not deployed. Right click on the workflow, all tasks, and select deploy. Verify the com cell is correct on which you are deploying this workflow, and click OK. It's deploying the workflow. Usually, this process will take time. Received error connecting to workflow engine. It looks, com vault workflow engine service is down on the com serve. I have started the service. Let's try to deploy the workflow again. Usually this process takes time, so I will pause and come back. After a while we got this error, timeout when receiving message from workflow engine. We are trying to deploy the workflow from media agent. We recommend deploying the workflow from the com serve. Let's switch to com serve, and investigate what's going on. From the com vault process manager, login tab, locate workflow engine module. Right click, and open log. Well. 
deployment manager is running in the background and is taking more time than expected. Let's switch to COM Vault GUI and check the progress there. Refreshing the page. Deployment completed successfully. Deployed on is now showing the COM serve name. Let's verify the same from the log file. Even the log file confirms, deployment complete for workflow. Let's upgrade a client to indexing v2. Before you begin the upgrade, gather the names of the clients, or client group that you want to change to indexing version 2. Also. Gather information on the type of agent that is installed on the clients, or client group you want to change to index in version 2. It is recommended that you run a full backup, or synthetic full backup, prior to changing to indexing version 2. In the ComCell console, stop all jobs on the clients that are expected to be changed with this workflow. From the ComCell browser, in Workflows. Right click upgrade to indexing v2, point to all tasks, and then click execute. In the upgrade to indexing v2 options dialog box, click the run workflow on list, and then select the workflow engine that you want to use to perform the workflow. Next to choose the component you would like to upgrade, select the option to either run the workflow on clients, or on a client group. If client group is picked, in the client group list, select the name of the client group that you want to run the workflow on. If client option is picked, in the clients list, select the clients that you want to run the workflow on. In the agent list, select the type of agent that you want to change on the clients. Please note. You can only change clients with the same type of agent in a single upgrade indexing v2 workflow job. If you want to change clients with different agents, configure and perform separate workflow jobs for each type of supported agent. In number of parallel upgrades, enter the maximum number of clients that the workflow can process simultaneously. You can enter a value from 1 to 20. Sometimes. The upgrade might take long time to complete, so leave the option, wait infinitely to upgrade, selected. Select or deselect the ignore pre-upgrade check, checkbox. Prior to running a workflow, the system determines if full, or synthetic full backups have been run within the last 45 days on the sub-clients, for the clients that you are upgrading with this workflow. If such backups have not been run on, one or more of the sub-clients within the last 45 days, then the system will not upgrade the client to indexing version 2. Select this checkbox to ignore the pre-upgrade check, and proceed with the upgrade, regardless of whether or not such backups have been run on the sub-clients in the past 45 days. In the Job Initiation tab, you can either schedule the job, or run it immediately. Click OK, to start the job. The upgrade to index in V2 job appears in the job controller. Let's check the job details. General tab will give details of the job, along with status and phase of the job. Attempts tab will give the details of all steps it went through along with time taken for each step to complete. Please note, 
If the data is large then it might take very long time than expected. Properties tab will give details of the options that have been selected for this workflow. View events, lists all found events associated with the job ID.